In the Gulf state of Qatar, plans are underway for an event unlike anything this tiny peninsula has ever seen. Action! Come October 29, the booming capital will play host to the first ever Doha Tribeca Film Festival. We need a drawing for the central courtyard. Yeah, I think it's essentially going to be festival, film program, and vlog. What are the creative ways that we can come together? Heading the DTFF team is executive director Amanda Palmer. High caliber international film so we can change the way people go to cinemas. As Al Jazeera's head of entertainment, Palmer created their flagship film show. Hello and welcome to the Fabulous Picture Show. I'm Amanda Palmer. and this Which has given filmmakers, especially from the Middle East, <laughs> an important global platform to discuss the their stories and their context. It is a conflict about land. Where's the hope? The worst thing is to give up. So maybe the hope is, is that, is that continuation? And always believing that film has the power to entertain and also educate. Are you chuffed by this? I don't even know what the word chuffed <laughs> means. <laughs> Thrilled. Are you Thrilled. excited? I'm beyond thrilled. It is amazing to see. It's an amazing time in history. Joining Palmer in Doha is Tribeca's managing director, Maggie Kim. Can we do a drop-off here, though? Like, actually have, you know, like, town cars and, and limousines? Drive? Kim joined Tribeca as a volunteer when it started in 2002. To enter to the cinema, they'd have to enter yes, around. from there. Together, they've built an international team of 20 nationalities. <laughs> Amir! Including Qatari nationals. Is this actually the first day you've ever come to work, ever? My officially first day of work. No, but I've done, <laughs> I've done, I've done internship. We're asking the volunteers to do three shifts, and they're four hours each. And they signed up more than 300 volunteers in the first week. So you basically, you want a little hands-on experience. With numbers growing. Everyone has talent, you just have to bring it out. The aim is to create an all-year-round film community, from appreciation to filmmaking. We don't have the, the know-how how to do the real movie-making aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And DTFF's programmers are bringing the world's best international films to Doha, especially from the Arab world. I wouldn't say it feels like another filmmaker, but you can certainly see that he's come so far. You know, he's left the literal behind and he's become a poet, mm. you know. Mm. That's why it works. With any new festival, the first question is why? The fact that you have a Doha Tribeca, it has such a strong brand with Tribeca, and yet it's trying to you know, maintain a strong kind of local connection, gives it an automatic cultural reason to exist. Our goal this year is to, tell, is to start with educational programs, to teach people how to write scripts, to bring producers, to bring directors, to bring filmmakers. And DTFF's all year round educational workshops have already begun. Amir wants to be a filmmaker, so we figured let's just throw him into making the documentary today. I don't want any faces. I want him from the backside. Okay. It's his first time making a movie. Well, he's gonna be fine. He's very talented, this guy. He knows what he wants. If you had told me a few years ago that something like this would, would happen in Doha, I would have told you you're crazy. Action! Filmmakers, everybody. First time filmmakers. <laughs> Muhammad is 16 years old, everybody. <laughs> what was it like directing a woman to do your emotions? Actually, it was so easy working with Catherine because she knew everything. And I chose a woman because I told you, like uh, before, that woman goes through so much more than men. For as long as I can remember, I was. Uh, and playing with the, with the camera at home and always experimenting with things and that's when I knew I wanted to become a filmmaker. How long did it take to shoot this film? This film is one minute, believe it or not, but it took me eight hours to actually film. I would love to make a 90 minute film. I know that would take probably, wait, three years. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Qatar is really ready for big screen uh, action. I'm looking forward to seeing 
what happens. It has been almost my dream to be a movie maker, and it's my first time to, to have a, a screening, you know, and uh, for Tribeca Film Festival, come on, you know. The shorts were, are incredibly strong, you know, and for first time filmmakers, they were fantastic, and they played really well, so. Aww. It's fantastic. Faisal did a great job. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Auntie Maggie, <laughs> upload this on the website. She gets, she gets Auntie, and I get Mummy. Mummy. <laughs> Good night.